Now imagine, a man, it is mid to late 40s, let's call him Greg. He has done nothing wrong in this world, never stolen anything, never killed anyone. He is a kind, loving man who only cares for the best of this world. He loves his family, he loves his friends. There is nothing in his life he doesn't love. He has a great job, well paying job, which when he doesn't use the money to help his family out, he uses it for charities. He gives his money to charities. Uh, either secularist movements or non-secularist movements. He helps out churches, he helps out the local farmers market, he helps out anywhere possible he can possibly do. He's one of the most nicest people you would ever meet. On his daughter's wedding day, an hour before the wedding begins, he decides to walk from his house all the way over to the wedding. Because he loves to walk. He loves to walk everywhere. That and the fact that his uh, wife is with his daughter, uh, getting ready for the wedding. As he's in the middle of walking, he sees a bus zooming past him, flips over, and catches on fire. He sees the bus burning and on fire. He goes over there to try to help the people who are in there. He discovers that the people inside of the bus are children, no less than seven years old. He goes over, breaks down the door and breaks down the windows as much as he can, grabs as many children as he can, grabs the bus driver, grabs everyone. The bus is now on fire even more. The police are coming and so is the ambulance. He hears a cry for help. He goes, dives into the bus. Moments after he dives in, the bus explodes. Thankfully, everybody outside of the bus is out of harm's way. Later on, they extinguish the fires and break open the bus. They find Greg's charred body. Underneath his body is the little girl that cried for help. Let's call her Elizabeth. She is the youngest child that was on the bus, six and a half years old. She is fine and perfectly well, with only a few scratches. Greg's last moments on earth were saving the life of a child that he did not know saving the life of many children. Elizabeth grows up to be one of the most renowned scientists in the entire world, curing many of the diseases that we have today and inventing some of the most technological advances that we will ever see. Let me ask you, Theist, a question. Now, Theist, where did Greg go when he died? Did he go to heaven or did he go to hell? I'll give you a few moments to respond. Most of you answered heaven. The correct answer is hell. Greg was an avid atheist. He was an atheist. He was a part of many secularist movements and he started many secularist movements. He spawned many clubs. He held many clubs around the school. He's been an atheist most of his life from when he stopped being an atheist from the age of 14 till his death. According to the Christian and Islamic religion, if you do not believe in God or Allah, you will be sent to hell for all of eternity. Now a man in his mid-fifties has just been given a death penalty. He is laying on a table, about to get the injection. He has committed so many murders and so many rapes, most of whom are children. He was an avid Christian. Since he died, where did he go? Did he go to heaven, or did he go to hell? He went to heaven. The reason why? He's in bliss. For all eternity in heaven. Because he believed. It doesn't matter how much good you do, it doesn't matter how much bad you do. See, this is the thing with the Christian and Islamic God and its afterlife. He will only reward those who blindly follow his way. Who blindly follow via faith by just believing. I can never worship a being who could create a system like that. Nor will I ever.